students. Today is the second lecture, part one. The topic of the lecture is introduction to computer systems. In this video, we will cover the following topics. Evolution of computer systems. Overview of computer systems. Conclusion. Evolution of computer systems. The evolution of computer systems can be divided into five periods according to the generations of computer technology. First generation. The first generation of computers in the 1950s and 1960s. Logic circuits were created on discrete radio components and electronic vacuum tubes with a filament. Magnetic drums, acoustic ultrasonic mercury and electromagnetic delay lines, and cathode ray tubes, CREES, were used in operational memory devices. Magnetic tape drives, punch cards, punch tapes, and plug-in switches were used as external storage devices. Computer programming of this generation was performed in a binary number system in a machine language, that is, programs were rigidly focused on a specific machine model and tied along with these models. In the mid-1950s, machine-oriented languages such as symbolic coding languages SCLs, appeared, allowing instead of binary writing of commands and addresses to use their abbreviated verbal, alphabetic, notation and decimal numbers. In 1956, the first high-level programming language for mathematical problems, Fortran, was created, and in 1958, the universal programming language Algol was created. Computers, starting from UNIVAC and ending with BESM-2 and the first models of computers, Minsk and Ural, belong to the first generation of computers. Example, IP701. April 1952, the first IP computer appeared. A magnetic drum was used as a memory. RAM capacity minus 20480 bytes performance 800 operations per second. Second generation. Second generation of computers, 1960-1970s. Logic circuits were built on discrete semiconductor and magnetic elements, diodes, bipolar transistors, toroidal ferrite microtransformers. Printed circuit boards, for Jetinex boards, were used as a structural and technological basis. The block principle of machine design has become widely used, which allows you to connect a large number of different external devices to the main devices, which provides greater flexibility in the use of computers. Clock frequencies of electronic circuits have increased to hundreds of kilohertz. External drives on hard magnetic disks and floppy disks began to be used an intermediate level of memory between magnetic tape drives and RAM. In 1964, the first monitor for computers appeared the IB2250. It was a monochrome display with a screen of 12 x 12 inches and a resolution of 1024 x 1024 pixels. It had a frame rate of 40 A's. The control systems created on the basis of computers demanded from computers higher productivity and the main thing reliability. Error detection and correction codes and built-in control schemes have become widely used in computers. The second generation machines were the first to implement batch processing and teleworking modes. The first computer that partially used semiconductor devices instead of electronic lamps was the SEEK, Standards Eastern Automatic Computer, created in 1951. In the early 60s, semiconductor machines were also produced in the USER, example, IP 360-40. Made in 1964. For different models, it is combined from 19 CPU units and 40 types of peripherals. The RAM capacity is 256 bytes. Performance 246,000 operations slash second. Third generation. Third generation of computers, 1970, 1980s. In 1958, Robert Noyce invented a small silicon integrated circuit in which dozens of transistors could be placed in a small area. These schemes later became known as small scale integrated circuits C. And already in the late 60s, integrated circuits began to be used in computers. 
logic circuits of the third generation computers were already completely built on small integrated circuits. Clock frequencies of electronic circuits have increased to units of megahertz. The supply voltage, units of volts, and the power consumed by the machine decreased. The reliability and performance of the computer have significantly increased. The operational memory devices used miniature ferrite cores, ferrite plates and magnetic films with a rectangular hysteresis loop. Disk storage devices have become widely used as external storage devices. One of the founders of Intel, Gordon Moore, in 1965 discovered a law according to which the number of transistors in a single chip doubles every 1.5 years. Due to the significant complexity of both the hardware and logical structure of the third-generation computers, they often became known as systems. So, the first computers of this generation were models of IP systems, a number of models of IP360 and PDD, PDD1. In the Soviet Union and the Commonwealth with the countries of the Council of Mutual Economic Assistance, Poland, Hungary, Bulgaria, Dieter and Drive. Models of the Unified System, US, and the Small Computer System, US, Arolina, began to be produced. Fourth Generation Fourth Generation of Computers, 1980-1990 a revolutionary event in the development of computer technologies of the third generation of machines was the creation of large and ultra-large integrated circuits, large-scale integration LISI and very large-scale integration volume, a microprocessor, 1969, and a personal computer. Since 1980, almost all computers have been created on the basis of microprocessors. The most popular computer was the personal one. The first personal computer was created in April 1976 by two friends, Steve Jobs, born 1955, an employee of Atari, and Stefan Wozniak, born 1950, who worked for Hewlett Packard. On the basis of an integrated 8-bit controller of a hardwired circuit of a popular electronic game, working in the evenings in a car garage, they made a simple basic programmable game computer, Apple, which was a huge success. In early 1977, Apple Colorado was registered, and production of the world's first Apple personal computer began. Fifth generation. The main requirements for computers of the fifth generation, creation of a developed human-machine interface, speech recognition, images, development of logical programming for creating knowledge bases and artificial intelligence systems, creation of new technologies in the production of computer equipment, creation of new computer architectures and computer complexes. New technical capabilities of computer technology were supposed to expand the range of tasks to be solved and allow us to move on to the tasks of creating artificial intelligence. Is one of the components necessary for the creation of artificial intelligence and knowledge bases, databases, in various areas of science and technology. Creating and using databases requires a high-speed computing system and a large amount of memory. Example, the Abyss of Z. Manufactured in 2003. Physical parameters, weight 20 k. Power consumption 21 du. Area 2.5 square. M. Height 1.94 M. RAM capacity 256 GG, performance minus 9 billion. Instruction slash sectums. Overview of computer systems. A computer system is deemed as a digital electronics device that can be programmed to accept some inputs in terms of data, then process this data as per the program instructions and provide the output in the desired format that can be used for some meaningful work. A computer system consists of both software components and hardware components. Hardware components are physical parts that we can touch and interact with. While the software is necessary to manage the hardware, a computer program software is an essential component of any computer system that directs a computer to perform various tasks. The computer system is programmable. That means the computer will perform the task only as per the program instructions. 
and therefore the computer needs a program written in a programming language to execute a particular task on the computer system. The computer program directs the computer system through series of instructions. Each program instruction performs a specific part of the operation. The computer is a digital electronic machine. That means, computer can understand and execute instructions on in binary which consist of only two numbers that is 0 and 1. The binary code is also referred as machine code or machine language. The computer's central processing unit CPU is the brain of the computer system. The CPU is responsible to perform both arithmetical and logical operations. However, the computer's microprocessor CPU can understand and execute instructions only in machine code and binary. So, it doesn't really matter in which programming language you write your program code because eventually, all computer programs must be rest converted to machine code and binary consisting of only 0 and 1. The software components are computer programs. The program consists of set of instructions that directs the computer system hardware components to perform the desired operations. The computer programs are generally written using high-level, human-readable, programming language such as C, C, Java, Python and many more. However, a high-level programs are rest required to be converted into low-level, machine code, instructions in binary that can be directly executed by the computer. This conversion is called program compilation. The computer system interprets these program instructions and then performs the desired operations. The CPU executes the program instructions one by one. The computer systems are versatile machines and can be used to perform number of operations. For example, a company might use the computer system for managing employee database, customer database, inventory management, billing, record keeping, payroll processing, accounting and many such applications. In order to use the computer system for any database operations, EDDMs, database management system, software is required. Characteristics of computer system Automatic working the computers are extensively being used for automatic operations. The computer once programmed to perform some task can continue without any human intervention. Operating speed. The modern computers are armed with the latest microprocessor can execute billions of instructions within a fraction of a second. Accuracy of calculations. The computer can perform millions of complex calculations and take logical decisions as per the program instructions with remarkable accuracy. Computer is versatile. The computer is a truly versatile machine that can be used for many applications. The use of computer is now an essential part of every industry and profession we can possibly think of. Apart from its applications in academics, the computers are everywhere. Computer is reliable. The computers are the most reliable machines to perform multiple tasks without any mistake with the lightning speed. Computer is diligent. There are many business corporations and manufacturing companies that work day and night without any break. Such operations and production lines can be very well managed by the use of computers. Depending upon the use, the computer hardware is specially tailor-made to handle such prolonged operations. Computer has memory. The computer system has both short-term and long-term memory. The business corporations that generate large volumes of data needs to be stored into the permanent storage devices for the future use. Computer needs program. The computer is often said to be a dumb machine without any IQ, and therefore the computer needs a set of instructions called a program. A computer program is an essential component of every computer system. Conclusion This section covered the history of computer systems as well as the computer system of the modern world. The main conclusion is that computer systems are now everywhere, including at home, at work, in offices, shops, banks, etc. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.